Today, electric car sales are high, but of course it takes time until electric cars become a noticeable part of the fleet of the cars that we see on our roads on, uh, in our daily life. Today, around 8% of all cars on the road in China are electric, in Europe is around 4%, and in the United States it is 2%. But as a result of the increasing sales, we project that even under current policy settings, more than 30% of the cars on the road in China could be electric by the year 2030. In the EU, um, as well as in the United States, we are approaching um, uh, levels of somewhere in between 15 and 20% uh, of all the cars uh, on the road. The more electric cars are on the more road, the more important, of course, will be the impact on oil demand. In 2030, under current policy settings, over 4 million barrels per day of oil is displaced um, uh, just from the use of electric cars. Another 1 MBD comes from vans and trucks and nearly uh, another 1 MBD from buses and two three-wheelers. Is more possible? Um, yes, there is possible. If you look at all the announcements by government and industry, then uh, we um, are quite encouraged. Uh, in our announced pledges scenario, we track all the goals and targets from governments and uh, we assume that all pledges and commitments by countries materialize in full and on time. Under such a uh, scenario, every second car sold globally um, by 2030 is electric. Uh, in China, two-thirds of all cars are sold, uh, sold are electric, 60% in Europe and more than 50% in the United States. When you compare uh, these kind of government ambitions uh, with the announcements from car manufacturers, then it is possible to meet these ambitions uh, and uh, even exceed them. In some cases, over 20 major car manufacturers representing more than 90% of global car sales in 2023 have set electrification targets. And if you take all these targets from all manufacturers, in fact, together, then we'll have um, more than sufficient electric cars to be sold by 2030. If we look more closely at batteries, then the outlook to 2030 is uh, even brighter. Global EV battery manufacturing capacity uh, last year was around uh, three times higher than actual demand. Uh, and uh, existing and committed battery manufacturers, uh, pro manufacturing projects, so looking at those that uh, are either under construction or have uh, reached a final de investment decision, actually far exceeds government and car maker <coughs> ambitions to 2030. There could even be uh, enough battery manufacturing capacity available to reach the deployment needs in the IA's net zero by 2050 scenario, not only for electric cars, but also for electrifying other road transport modes. There are many considerations here, of course, many questions that uh, policymaking will have to deal with. Uh, they concern the geographical concentration of manufacturing projects and, as our executive director already highlight, uh, highlighted, the access to critical minerals. But the industry outlook here is, um, uh, um, is uh, a pot, a pot, one of a potential opportunity and suggests that very high levels of electric car sales could be possible. With that, thank you very much for your attention and uh, back to you, uh, Jethro. Thank you very much, Timo, um, for the presentation and Dr. Birol for, for his remarks. Uh